Welcome to the Black Swamp Beginning Coopering Class. This is the fall class for 2015. First one you're seeing there is Janelle. She's back for a second class. She's got her pile of wood over there. She's making some shavings. And her class, this time, she's going to be making a butter carrier. And as I slowly scan, I'm trying to go slower. I know you guys love how I jerk around. This is Andy, and he's also working on a well bucket. And he's on the schnitzel bunk using a straight draw knife. Um, right in front of him here is a stack of staves already to be putting the edge on them. First time in a cooper shop. And hopefully he's having a good time so far using the knives. Because that was kind of like, are we going to use real good old-fashioned tools? And I said, yes, sir. So we're having a good time today. Beautiful fall day. It's kind of chilly outside, but it's sunny and it's warm in the shop. Okay, we are back. We're still on day number one. We're already, um, Janelle is using the score. She's doing the inside of her bucket, scraping it out so it'll be nice and even. Um, she's making a butter carrier. And over here, Andy is in the process. He's making a bucket, a nice well bucket, um, looking really good. He's trying to break my bow saw though. And I have a really trick saw blade that I can give him if he would just wait a second okay. without messing up my bow saw. But we're having a really good time. Both of them are a lot further ahead. Of course, this class, we only have two this time. Um, so we are a little further ahead, but um, still gonna take part of Saturday. But I just wanted to show you the progress. They're both doing great. And everything is looking really, really good. And the afternoon goes on on day one. Andy is working on his bottom. I'll zoom in here on his bucket here. He's got the crows grooved already in there. And so now he's just shaving his bottom. Take him a little while. He's just taking his time. No hurry. And then I scan over here and Janelle has started using the crows as well and she's working her way around the bottom. And she's working on the back, gets me back a little bit or move because the light is. And the tool she's using is called a crow's. And that's cutting the groove in for her bottom piece. Again, she's making hers isn't a big bucket like Andy's. This is gonna be a butter carrier. Good morning, and we're back on day two. We're in the beginning coopering class. Uh, fall of 2015, we're in the Black Swamp Cooperage at Souter Village today. I'm zooming in here. This is a bucket made by Andy. And one of the good things I wanted to show you today is Andy is actually doing his own banding. And right now he's using a knife to shave it down a little bit. He's making a lap joint. And while he's shaving that, he's got to do both ends. Right now he's doing one. He'll flip it over and do the other. So I'll scroll over here to Janelle today. She's working on her butter carrier. I'll first show you the lid. The lid is done. I'll even pick it up a second here and show you. It's a nice thick heavy lid to keep all the bugs out. And then here she's using a scorp. She's blending all the outside edges together so there's no lumps or catches on it. She's making it nice and smooth. The good part is both of them showed back up today for day two. That's a good thing. But everything is going really well. Class has been great. And this is going to be an incredibly looking bucket and an awesome butter carrier. And we'll check back in a little while. Okay, day two is actually starting to wind down. Andy has done a great job this morning banding his own bucket. He's doing the lap bands. And right now he's getting ready to measure for his final band. You might, if you have to, you can drop that down a little bit, the metal one. I think it's all right for right okay. now. Okay. Uh, yeah, once you get that on there, you'll know. Yep. But he's going to use a pencil, draw his line. I'll come over here. You draw that line, you measure where you want it to end up. And if you make your back cuts right there, that's where you'll end up with it. And it'll fit just about right on the money. 
now he's measuring the overall length. He'll have to probably chip off a little bit. He'll do that over here on the other bench. As long as he makes sure he splits off the right piece. Well, it's kind of obvious. So he kept his thumb on there. Okay, we just got a little wood chisel. He'll set that there and give her a good whack. And there it goes. Don't worry, folks. He's cleaning the floor anyways. But he grabs out his trusty knife and he cuts down and now he back cuts into that. You want to go about halfway or maybe just a little bit past halfway, but you want to make sure that you do this back cut. That's what makes it tight when you put it on your bucket. And it always helps to have a really sharp knife. How's your class been so far, Andy? It's been good. A lot of fun. And not to ignore Janelle's over here. She's working on her bands for her bar carrier. How's your class been going? Awesome. This is Janelle's second class, so she's, she knew what to expect. And you didn't go to the hot tub last night That's either. Right. And now what he's doing is just peeling that end. We're using a lap joint. So what we want to do is you want to thin down the banding a little bit so they lay on top of each other and don't create a big bulge. Just makes it overall look better. I'll come back here on his bucket here. He's already got three of the four bands on. But that's the joint he's working on. He's just making a nice little lap joint. And now he's cut, doing his last little back cut on it. Great thing about Andy is he is an engineer by trade. So he's a kind of a perfectionist. So he's actually done a terrific job here with his bucket. We'll never let anybody know that he made a mistake already today. So. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> oh, it's on video, so it's everybody that sees the video is gonna know that. Okay. Yep, yep, you already let the cat out of the bag there. It's all right. That's why we have this little black box over here called a stove. You make a mistake, you burn the evidence. Sounds like a plan. And now that he's got that pretty darn close, he'll back cut this side over here just a little bit. You want it to lay really nice and even. You don't want to go too far because it makes it really brittle. But it, the banding we use is a reed band and it really is strong when you put it on. And now he's going to put his trusty knife away. He had some experience with draw knives and stuff before he came to class, so both of these folks have had a really good time putting the stuff together and they've done a good job overall. Their pieces are going to be great. And now he's going to fit it on his bucket and I think he took it back too far. It's fairly tight though, isn't it? Yep. And he'll get that metal band out of there. Usually we use these black holding rings that you see on the workbench. But for some of this fine stuff, when you want to get it right, you're going to want to use a pair of the pliers here. To right there. Pulls that off. It's looking pretty good. I think he's gonna do some fine tuning with it. But that's how we band our buckets. And it'll be strong and last for years to come. 